Welcome to AWS Report video recruiting series. In this series, I'll be speaking with members of the AWS team to learn a bit about their jobs and to give you a sense of what it's like to work here. Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. My guest today is Andrew Paoli of the AWS team. Welcome. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me. So what do you do for the AWS team? I am a account manager managing client relationships, and uh, this year I'm managing Northern California. So I've got uh, 20 or 30 accounts in Northern California that I am essentially the, uh, the face of Amazon to. Okay, so as an account manager, what are their, your daily duties? What kinds of things do you do? We work directly with clients to make sure that they're adopting our services appropriately. Um, if it's a install client, so someone who's running on us today, um, sort of a different set of challenges and goals there uh, versus a client who is uh, exploring cloud, but not yet running on us today, and we're we're having that conversation with them to talk about, you know, what really does it mean to run on cloud, and and how could they adopt cloud computing? So sometimes you start at the very very beginning with them, but other times you basically pick on pick up their them as a customer when they reach a certain size. Yeah. So the clients that I have, I'd say a good two thirds of my clients are clients that I've worked with for uh, twelve months or more. So last year they were my clients as well. Um, Good example that would be Pinterest. Uh, worked closely with them as they were scaling up their website, and still working with them again today. All right. So, what kinds of things would you do for a customer, like Pinterest? Let's say as they're scaling up, how do you help them out? For all of our clients, I think the challenges are a little bit different. Um, so, when they're looking at cloud computing, the the, the normal service uh, selection is, you know, lots of clients running EC2, S3, CloudFront. Um, the cl the questions that typically come in are around how do we optimize our cost? How do we optimize our workloads? Uh, are we architected correctly for your environment? Um, and cloud computing is new, so we work with these clients to make sure that they're running as efficiently as possible in our environment. Do you find yourself really having to work with the, a mix of both technical and business issues with the clients? Yeah, I think that's sort of for a sales role, I think that's where this job is a little bit more uh, challenging than most because we are dealing sometimes with some very technical issues. We do have architects that join us on calls and with clients, um, but a lot of the time it's the salesman on the front line dealing with challenges that are uh, very much data center specific. So take us back in time a bit. How did you prepare in your, your schooling and your career to get to this point? I graduated in 2003. I went to school at uh, Santa Clara University, got a degree in engineering. At the time, I was thinking I was going to be part of a hot new startup. Uh, but 2003, a couple of years after the dot-com crash, I realized you know, the, the whole goal here was to be part of a startup in a sales capacity. So I just went right on into uh, sales. Um, after a few years of that, I decided uh, that I wanted to get more into a sales enablement role with uh, more of a technical background. And so that's when I started looking around. And to be honest with you, I did not know what cloud computing was in 2009 when I started, but uh, very quickly learned about it. And uh, that's when I onboarded, was J uh, July 2009. So when you first came on board here, um, what was the first like big surprise you had about being part of the AWS team? Uh, I think the first big surprise was that uh, it was a very, very small team at the time. And this is 2009. Cloud computing was a new concept. Um, it was certainly well adopted by the startup community, but at the time, um, the enterprise hadn't come on full board to cloud. And I think the biggest surprise for me was how fast that enterprise adoption happened and is still happening. What advice might you give to someone who's thinking about applying for a position like yours? One of the challenges of this role is that if you're not working within the data center space today, if you're not working at a managed service provider or uh, if you're not working directly with clients who are struggling with corporate IT challenges running data centers, then it's hard to put yourself in their shoes. And so for me, the biggest shock was I had sold technology my whole life and I thought I knew hardware very well. I, di I didn't. So there's a lot to learn. And so I think if I were applying for a role, and I say this to the new hires that we do hire in, in the sales role in, in my territory, it's learn as much as you can about the challenges of running a data center today, um, what people are accustomed to, and then learn as much as you can about our services and our value proposition. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to come by and speak with us today. No problem. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in a position on the AWS team, please send your resume to the email address as shown on your screen. This video is a part of the AWS Report recruiting series. I'm Jeff Barr.